Now I am explaining Planck's quantum theory. We have, we have started the chapter Atomic Structure and Mechanics. Means in this chapter, we are studying the different theories, concepts related to the atomic structure and uh, the wave mechanics related to it. From the given topic, subtopic that is the Planck's quantum theory, I am explaining in detail. This theory is related to the transmission of radiant energy. That is the light energy. How the light is propagating from one place to another place, that is the question. We have theory of light. Predicts that or explain that light is transmitting from one place to another place in the form of continuous wave. In this way, this is a continuous wave. But later on, Max Planck in 19th century, 19th, studied the black body radiations. And he observed that the light radiations are coming from the hot body that are not in a continuous form, that are in a discontinuous form. And he kept his observations in the new method that whatever the light radiations which are coming that are in the form of unit wave units of wave or the wave units or the pulse of energy means Max Planck explained that whatever the radiations which are coming or given by the hot body that are not in a continuous form that are that is in the discontinuous form that hot body use the units of waves or the pulse of energy that units of waves he named as a quantum Later on, in 19th Jiropayu, Albert Einstein had given further improvements or further observations based on his own experimentations and he explained that excited atoms or molecules are radiating the energy, light radiations of the radiant energy in the form of energy packets or the quanta that quanta are named by the Albert Einstein as photons. Means these are the some inventions or the improvements regarding the Planck's quantum theory. Initially, this is a light source. Radiant energy or light energy is transmitting from one place to another place as per the old concept in the form of continuous wave. Means that light energy or the radiant energy is transmitting from one place to another place in the form of continuous wave. That was the old concept. But later on, by the Max Planck in 19th, studied the black body radiations and he observed that light radiations are coming from the hot body are not in a continuous form. It is in a discontinuous form. It is in the form of wave units. Means in this way. This 
these are the wave units that wave units or the pulse of energy is named by max planck as a quantum let on albert einstein albert einstein in 1905 had also put forth had also given the explanation regarding the radiant energy which is given by the excited atoms or molecules that they are radiating energy in the form of particles or the quantums that quantum he named as photons this is regarding the development of planck's quantum theory this planck's quantum theory is kept into the following statements excited atoms or molecules are absorbing or emitting the atoms or molecules are absorbing or emitting the light radiations in the form of pulse of energy or the wave units which are named as quantum or photon means light energy or the radiant energy is radiated or absorbed not in the form of continuous waves but in the form of unit of waves or wave units that wave units are called quantum or photon in this way this is a continuous wave These are the wave units. Means radiant energy is transmitting from the light source to the another point, not in the form of continuous waves, but in the form of wave units. That wave units are called quantum or photon means atoms or the molecules are emitting or absorbing the light radiations not in the form of continuous waves but they are absorbing or emitting the light radiations in the form of wave units that wave units are called um, quantum or photon then second statement is energy of the photon is given by e is equal to h nu where it is the planck's constant the value of planck's constant is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 27 arg second or 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second then in this case C is equal to. This is the equation one. C is equal to lambda into nu. C is the velocity. 
of the light radiations and the radiant energy that is given c is equal to lambda into nu where we can write the equation by rearranging nu is equal to c by lambda this is the equation 2 by putting the value of equation 2 in 1 we get e is equal to h into c by lambda this is the equation third from equation 1 and equation 3 it is clear that energy e of the photon is directly proportional to the frequency nu or energy of the photon e is inversely proportional to the wavelength lambda means whatever the energy of the photon that is given by the equation h nu where it is the Planck's constant that is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 27 r second or 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. C is given giving the velocity of the light that is C is equal to lambda into nu. Therefore, by rearranging nu is equal to C by lambda, then by putting the value of equation 2 in equation 1, the equation becomes as E is equal to H into C by lambda. From equation 3 and equation 1, it is clear that energy of the photon is it directly proportional with the frequency or the energy of the photon is inversely proportional with the wavelength lambda? Then the third postulate what are the amount, what are the atoms or molecules which are absorbing or emitting the light radiations that are one quantum of light E is equal to H nu or multiple of this unit means E is equal to N H nu means whenever atoms or molecules are absorbing or radiating the energy that is always E is equal to one quantum or it's a multiple of that quant one quantum means whole number of multiplied to the one quantum that is Energy absorbed will be 1 H nu, 2 H nu, 3 H nu in this way. But it will be never be 1.5 H nu, 3.27 H nu and so on. Means whatever the amount of energy which is absorbed or emitted by the atoms or the molecules that is that equal to one quantum of energy or it's a multiple whole number of the quantum that is the photon this is regarding the Planck's quantum theory the next one Einstein energy is nothing but the E is equal to N0 into H nu this is the energy which is called one Einstein energy. This is regarding the Planck's quantum theory.